Morning all. We're back on the mule here. Uh, I reinstalled the fuel pump. So I'm getting ready to pull the carburetor off. I've already removed the uh, intake uh, tube. So I'm going to be pulling a couple other lines here. Probably get this tube out of the way. It hooks into the air filter down there. And we're going to go ahead and pop that carb off there. It looks pretty straightforward. I don't see any any major issues and uh, see what's going on with it. Now we'll get back to some discovery on this carb. Um, I did have to go source a new gasket because I tore this one, but <clears throat> out of my Briggs box, I found one that'll work. Okay, so before I do anything to this carburetor, I wanted to do the proper leak down test where you basically turn the carb upside down that causes the float to seat and we're going to see if we got we got it right about there and yes we definitely have leak down there is it is going by the needle valve so my next step is I'm going to clean the outside of this carb up. We're going to pop the fuel bowl off. Sorry for the fan noise in the background, but it's, uh, it's a little warm and I'm really trying to not run the air conditioners yet. So, um, so what I did was I've cleaned the carb up. This is the, uh, the engine side. The gasket's in pretty good shape. We're going to leave that alone. This is the breather side. Um, I found a Craftsman gasket. I had to modify it just a little bit. I did fit it on the uh, the rails, the, the long rails that this slides on. Everything works there. Clean the gasket area up. Clean this up. Uh, the carburetor has this uh, vent tube. And what it's supposed to do is if the fuel um, float sticks it's actually supposed to bypass the gas and just dump it out well that's not happening so next we're going to open this bowl up and take a look so i'm going to move some stuff out of the way the old gasket i'm going to clean this off and uh be right back uh, 12 millimeter socket flip it the right way nope other way tight all right we're we're both going to see this at the same time i cleaned around here as best i could oh, that came off easy save the gasket all right we've got a little bit of crud in there I don't know how well you can see that. And we're gonna we're not gonna tear this all the way down. We're just going to uh, look at the needle valve. Well, that pin should come out. Let me uh, let me get back with you. Guys, I have never found a bowl retaining pin that tight. Um, so the uh, the smallest punch in my pilot punch set I've got is this one, and it's too big. So I dug around, and I found some screws that I could use basically to push that pin out, and then I'd have to put this little punch on top of them because I was afraid, you know, hammering here, I'd crack that bowl. So basically, I used that setup. You can see how tight, not one, but two bent screws to get it this far. And I, the pliers weren't working good, so I had to get something a little bit stronger, and I'm wiggling it. 
using a vise and I'm trying to that thing is in there I may have to go dig out another screw and do that one more time ah that's where we're going to stop the bolt the float is loose uh, yeah let's uh let's go take a look at the needle now okay so i took it over to the magnifying glass and i looked down i did not see anything there and the uh needle valve looks good um usually there's a spring on these i don't know if this might have been restricting but usually there's a spring on it and i've never had one with this retainer so tight um, i may go ahead and try to loosen this up so it turns a little bit freer and uh spray carb cleaner down in all these passages and put it back together and see what the leak test tells me yes i watched beyond the press channel he just did a uh exploding drill bit thing but that is the only thing that i could get to knock this pin out and i think what's going on is it is bent i don't know if i did that or what but i gotta go dig into my craftsman box again because and I had to have this thing clamped down really good and supported. I got to go find another gasket now. I got to clean this one up. Okay, so I'm digging through my Briggs car box built uh, um, gaskets. I did have just the top part part of a carburetor, the float bowl, and it still had the pin. So that pin slid right out and it's the same same length as the one I pulled out of there you can definitely see the old ones bent so with this pin slides right in so uh, that's going to allow me to put this back together the other issue I'm having is I'm doing a gasket search so I've got the gasket for this side. Get it orientated right. That should work fine for this side. But the problem I'm having on this side is the old gasket covered this uh, track. And everything I've tried so far doesn't cover. Uh, I do have one candidate that will cover that but I'll have to modify it a little bit, but I'm still searching. I'm pretty sure I got something that's gonna fit on that. Well, success. I was going through my own and Roper parts box and I found this gasket and that should work very well. So yeah. Uh, we're good to go put this back together now. Okay, so I thought I'd check this again before I put it back together. So if we pump it up, you can definitely see the needle bleeding down. It's hard to block the light. But so so this would be that the uh, the gas is pushing on the bowl. So if the bowl drops, boom, the valve opens up. But you can see it's bleeding down. So to verify, I went out and got my own end carburetor. Let's pump it up. I'm holding it so the, uh, the float is upside down. And as you can see, the needle is not moving. Now, if I turn this guy over, the float opened up. I'll turn it back upside down, pump it up. So 
Well, that's what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I got a bad needle valve in that carb. So I'm just curious, I'm going to confirm. This is my old Onan carb. I did put a new carb on that machine. And we are just above 6 PSI. And it is 2.45. I'm going to let it go to 3 o'clock and see. This carb is good. This one right here, I've got a bad needle valve. I may look around and see if I have one that's compatible now. I do have a couple carb kits. All right, I took about a 20 minute break. So it's now six after. And we'll just take a gander here. Needle has not budged on the Onan carburetor. So I did source a couple more needle valves. So we're gonna try them and see if that fixes the problem. Yeah, I do like my music box. That sounds really good. But uh, folks, I had three different needle valves, including an OEM Briggs that almost fit. But uh, yeah, we're I put it back together. Uh, do have a new carb coming, so I'm not going to go any further with this one. I may go online see if I can find a rebuild kit for it. Might be worth it. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck till the new one comes in. So I'll catch you later.